for you to basically chastise me about uh, what Trump has done for the black community, and especially coming from Joy Behar, I thought, I thought, you know, you're number one, not in Baltimore. You don't live in one of these dangerous cities and you're not black. And so I just thought, you know, how could you basically tell me how I should be feeling in this situation? Um, I'm on the ground every single day. My team is out there seven days a week knocking doors. Uh, we register voters five days a week. And so I wanted to talk about all the great grassroots things we were doing uh, as Republicans. You know, and I talked about this in my RNC convention speech. Republicans usually write off the inner cities. And so I wanted to talk about the fact that we're actually providing an option for inner city communities. And it just kind of went left. Hello, everyone. As hey, how are you? I'm doing doing well so far. Up and down Facebook. I happened to see the clip of the interview with The View and Kim Classic, the young lady that's running for Congresswoman in Baltimore City. Okay. And her claim is that for 53 years, this city has been under Democrat rule and nothing has really taken place. But I will discuss that later. But what I really wanted to tell what what I really wanted to talk about and before I discuss this because this is a a interview with um Ruben Report. He is interviewing Kim Classic after the interview that she had with The View, okay? And I just want to put in this disclaimer. I am not a Republican, okay? I am not for Donald Trump. So I just want to make that clear before I get into my take on this interview and how appalled I was with this interview. So we'll throw it to the clip. Come on, Kim. Excuse me, I have to say something to you. He told Bob Woodward that it was a very serious issue and it's airborne and that it was terrible. And then he went out and told the American people, don't wear masks, it's all gonna go away. You have to put some blame on your president, I'm sorry. You're putting it on something extraneous here. Talk to the point, please. Is this is this Joy speaking? The same Joy, the same yes. Joy that yes. paraded around in blackface not too long ago. Come on, Joy. I don't think you should be That's asking not these true. questions. I am. Excuse a, an me. American. Excuse me. The black community had my back. They know that the that black was community not black has my back. That was an homage. Oh, please. The black Just community the has my back. The black as community well. has your back. The black yes. community has yes, your back. They do. Sonny, the yes. black community well, did Sonny not tell vote them. for you. Well, the black you community know did not vote for you. What it planet was during are you a special election. On? Sonny, can I speak? What planet during, are you living on? It was during a special wow. election while we were exactly. still under lockdown and wow. I could not wow. talk to people. Can I speak or are you just going to scream over me? This becomes a big. Listen, Kim, good luck to you. Thanks to Kim Clay. That was very immature, but thank you for having me. Okay, so that is the... And I just want to point, up some, point out some things so you as black people can see what you're doing wrong. Kim was a young lady that came on there and as she said, she wanted to discuss her policies of what she's putting forth in the Baltimore, in, in the inner city of Baltimore. You know, what sh the options that she has and that she's giving to the people. And you didn't discuss that. You didn't allow her to talk about that. But just seeing what I saw on Facebook just made me have to say something about this. And Sonny, I'm going to have to come at you, okay? Because I've watched you on this show many times. And I watch you disagree with people. But I've never seen the disrespect that you gave this young woman, a black woman to another black woman. Now, I don't care if y'all looking at me as being racist, because I'm not. There's no such thing as me being a racist. When you talk about racist, let's talk about it systemically. But what you did to her was not right. Was not right. 
enjoy. All you do is talk about Trump this, Trump that, Trump this, Trump that. I believe that the pandemic could have been solved if we hadn't been so obsessed with Trump this and Trump that. You know, I believe that if we had put our minds and, and our thoughts into the pandemic, rather than worrying about and being obsessed, the media is obsessed, Nancy Pelosi is obsessed, you obsessed, the views obsessed with Trump. This girl wanted to talk about her policies. Now, it was a discussion to be had and to be talked about with civility. And I'm so, you know what? Megan is usually the one that go off most of the time. But of course, this was in her realm to be able to talk to this young lady. Matter of fact, she says she's the one that asked for her to be part of the show, to be interviewed. Okay? Now, I, I, the disrespect was just, just unconscionable. And, and like this young lady, what she's looking for and what she's doing, okay, it's something to be discussed. But just the write her off just like that? Listen, there's a discussion with every argument. Okay, she's running for congresswoman. She said in the 53 years under the Democratic rule that Baltimore City has been they haven't done nothing and it's still the same. Do you want to know why? The discussion could be about racism. Sonny, you are an attorney. Okay? You, you study up on history. You see, this is not because of just Democrat and Republican. This is many years of segregation. The unrest that we have had since 1968 and beyond that in the city of Baltimore doesn't fall on the laps of Democrat. That's something you could have discussed with her because her premises is not right. There were many deals made, many things that had been done. Yes, okay, she asks about some money. That money has been given to white contractors signed by black mayors who had no choice. How much power do they have? And how much power will she have? But that doesn't negate the fact that you disrespected her. When Joy comes up talking about Trump and blacks got her back. No. Okay. I don't have your back like that. But I got my sister's back. I'm going to tell you that. I don't like the disrespect. And this is what y'all doing to each other. This is what this media have caused y'all to do to each other. The lack of respect. Okay. She... Her, people like her and Candace Owens, okay, they got millions of hits. They got people's attention. That's because Donald Trump has given them a, an outlet for that, okay? But they must remember Amarosa. She got it too, and she got kicked to the curb. See, these are the things, but we don't have to bring that up. We can listen to what they have to say, as we do everybody else who are not making sense to us. You understand? So, I, 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 that's why I have to sometime unplug. Because the stuff that we are doing to each other, and the stuff that we don't see about ourselves, listen, there have been many opportunities that I should have turned away and just, but I listen to what they say and then still they kick me in my ass. Lies. You see, the lies, okay, the deceit is always there. But it is wrong for you to disrespect this sister on live television. The way you turned around and you're going to chime in, Sonny, for joy. And you're going to talk about, yeah, they got your back, they got your back. Well, I mean, yeah, I got her back. I'm not voting for her. I'm not in Baltimore, you know, and I don't agree with a lot of things she said. But I'm not going to disrespect her. For other people to sit down and make a mockery of this and to be able to, listen, look at this young man's face who is um, doing a report. Sometimes people like to see things like that. But it doesn't have to be. We know that there is a 
discussion to be had. And because she is a Republican and she's talking what she's talking, doesn't make it true, doesn't make it right. But you don't have to turn against her for that. You can have a discussion with her like you have with everybody else that come on this show that you disagree with. I've never seen you act like that before. And to me, I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's your conscience. That she is old in apology and your conscience, then you should give it to her on national television. I don't like what she stands for. But she'll have her day just like Candace. Candace was up and about and talking against black folks and saying things that weren't right. But again, I'm not against her. I just know that she's a lost soul looking for, looking for opportunity. You did the same thing. So right now, with the way things are, I think that we need to really sit down and listen to what each other has to say. Don't make it a waste of your time because it's not. It really isn't. It's a discussion to be had. That's what it all boils down to. When I first saw this lady, and I first saw this commercial, I could tell you that I had to sit down and I'm like, okay, what is she talking about? But I know that she's not making any sense. Because what they do and what most Republican black people are doing is throwing numbers at you and, you know, figuring that you are not going to research those numbers or you are not going to research some of the things that they are saying. We know in the forefront of everything that she's saying, the 53 years of democratic rule in Baltimore, that was started with segregation from the get-go, okay? Started from the riots that took place, the, took place because there were lack of jobs, okay? Um, their lack of housing, the poverty level, their lack of resources to the people that lived there. There were all kinds of money given, but those money went into different improve improvements that didn't benefit black people. And she's not going to be any different because she don't have any power. Okay? So, but you didn't talk about that. What you did was you, 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 you put her down. And you, and, and you disrespect her. That's what you did. So what I'm saying is that this is the, a discussion. I, I wish the view would invite her back and this time treat her like a person that she is and have a discussion. Get your facts right while she's talking so that you can be able to make this a debatable discussion and let the viewers see who's right and who's wrong in all of this. But it all starts with systemic racism. This not a democratic thing. It's not a Republican thing. It's a thing that has happened and now it's coming to the forefront and a lot of us black folks are getting caught up with their mess. When we need to really start looking in our own communities. She's got it right. Whether she is being um, um, honest with herself as far as, you know, I'm sure she has a different agenda than actually black people, okay? I'm sure of that because time will tell, but I'm talking to her. I don't mind having a conversation in a civil way because we've seen what has been happening and what's going on and what people see. The Democrats see some one thing and the Republican has seen another, okay? And that's because all of this social media, 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 this, media, that. Y'all need to watch The Social Dilemma on Netflix. You really do. And it kind of gives you a scenario of what's really going on with us as Americans here in America. You really need to watch that. But I don't want to get off the beaten path what my last statement is, is that I hope that, really, that you invite this young lady back on the show. Whoopi, if you're listening, because you weren't there. 
But I hope y'all invite her back on the show and give her a chance because that was, that was really, to me, to me, that was not right. And I, and I want to thank Megan for treating, treating her like uh, the human being that she is. Okay? And Anna Navarro, I don't think you, you, you were too disrespectful. But Joy and Sunny, you were very disrespectful to her. Okay? You might look at me as a nobody and who do I think I am because your anger is all up. But think about what you did. And think about who you are. Think about how you got your job. Think about who asked you kiss. And think about how many times you were slighted um, by those very same people asked you kiss. Think about that. Before you put this young lady down to the ground like that. So that's all I have to say. I just needed to tell you this. Because I want people to watch this. And watch it over and over and over again. And you as black people that sit here and watch this. Stop disrespecting each other. This ain't your fight. This is what you need to do. And start looking at your own community and trying to figure out how we can pull our resources to pull ourselves out of this shit. Instead of fighting each other and getting caught up in the mess that is in front of us. I'm sorry. I'm angry. Because I don't like what I am seeing. And this is not a talk to separate. But this is a talk... For you to empower yourself so we can pull together with the others to bring this country to a better place. But if you notice in the past days that black people this, oh black people that, and black people this, and black people that, and black people ain't doing nothing for themselves. What are we doing? We've had black people take stands and they stood alone like Colin Kaepernick until now that things are really coming to the forefront. Now you're looking at him. But before, he stood alone for a long, long time. Many of us have turned their backs because of fear of losing their job. How'd that go? Please, if you're listening... Whoopi, hear me now. Invite Kim Classic back and treat her right. Let's have a conversation about the policies and the options of those policies for the inner city of the community so that you can be able to rebut them knowing the history of Baltimore City and any other major city and what they're going through right now. I'm signing off. Bye-bye.